Hello. Hey, Jake. Jake, how have uh, the workouts been going for you so far? How do you you kind of feel now as you guys are kind of maybe getting into a little bit of a routine? It's really nice to have position players here. Um, the coaches have been here since like 9.30, 9 o'clock, something like that. So they're probably exhausted. Uh, but overall, it's good to actually have the whole team here. Um, finally, we got like two weeks. So uh, it's kind of like metal on the pedal. Um, but as long as we're all pretty open with how we feel and if we need an extra day and stuff, it'll be good. Well, we talked the other day, we were pretty frustrated about the delays in testing. Now that you guys do have your position players there, are you, is your frustration lessened a little bit? Do you still, still feel slow. behind? Testing still is very, very slow. Um, well, there's two teams or maybe more that aren't even going to the field today. Yeah. So Giants are that just can't happen. Like, I have no idea what else to say. Did it uh, make you nervous when you saw news that tests were lagging? Were you expecting anything like that? How, how, what was your initial, initial reaction to seeing some of the backlogs? Uh, I mean, in a perfect world, there would be zero. But that's, this is the first time they've probably ever done this. Um, this lab is probably getting anywhere. I have no idea how many they're getting a week. I read somewhere it's like 15,000. So if they've never done that, I can't do math in my head right now, but I don't know how many of that you have to do in a day. Um, I know they're trying their hardest, but I don't know if that's good enough for right now. Um, it's a little worrisome, just like say we go on a road, we go on a 10 day road trip and we only get results one time. Like that's super, that's not very good with 45, 50 people in a clubhouse at one time. Jake, it sounds like Bob Melvin and some of the other players have been pretty um, forthright about your guys' responsibility to each other and taking care of each other and your health. And I know Bob had mentioned you specifically uh, in some of the things that he'd said to us, and, and he said he, he probably would when he addresses the team. Um, what's your reaction to hearing that, that people, you know, are really cognizant of the fact that you all have to be careful and they want to make sure everyone stays healthy and safe? I mean, I feel like if everyone does their part and doesn't go out and because the second you go out, you could not feel anything for four days and then all of a sudden get it. Um, and you might not feel anything and then pass it on to someone and they take it home and give it to their daughter or son or wife or whoever. Um, honestly, if you can't live in like this somewhat bubble, like you can basically get gross, you can get every single essential item that you need for your house delivered to your house. Uh, if you can't do it for 90 days, I have, I honestly, I don't know if I really want to talk to you. How are you just feeling physically as you guys are kind of getting into it and like actually back on a real major league field and throwing to major league catchers and stuff like that? I mean, everyone, we want to play like tomorrow. Um, and I get there's people like, I'm very outspoken on the issue that they need to be better with testing and I get people would be like okay then just quit it's not about that like I just got done throwing a live BP for 20 pitches against four like amazing hitters on our team um I want to play no matter what like the only re way I won't play is if this whole thing gets shut down it's going to be very hard for me to opt out now that I've pitched against hitters and we're here every day throwing bullpens and just being around everyone, like everyone's competitive juices are flowing to the max right now and all of us want to play. Who did you um, throw to today and how'd you do? What were your results like? Uh, I felt like it went pretty well. I got pretty tired at the end. Um, first time throwing off a dirt mound in four months, like against hitters. Um, Uh, Ramon probably had the best at bat. It was probably like 10 pitches long. He was locked in. He knew exactly what I was throwing. That was miserable. Did he hit you? Uh, foul. Okay. 
And then he took, I think, strike three twice. But hey, whatever. He said it was a ball. It wasn't. It was a strike. I believe you because you're sitting there. Yeah. So you said uh, it's uh, at this point, having having gone through that part of it and face hitters and stuff, it's going to be very hard for you to opt out. But is that still something that you are weighing? Are you still kind of keeping that as an option going forward and sort of considering and, and seeing how everything's going out there? Uh, not really, because I would have to opt out in 14 days. Once the regular season hits, there's no way I'm opting out. Hmm. But if they don't get the testing figured out, then this whole thing will get shut down. Like, that's my personal opinion. Um, during the season, there's no way uh, we can go 72 hours or longer um, without, like, knowing our result. There's just no way. There's no way that that could possibly happen and this be safe for all 67 days or whatever it is. Jake, how are you feeling overall about the state of your guys' bullpen? You have a lot of veteran arms. You're all coming off of good seasons. Um, you know, almost everybody's back, basically. How, how do you see things with the bullpen? Good. Um, everyone can bring somewhat of a sort, like a different look. Uh, Everybody has very nasty stuff. And uh, if we get a couple extra guys at the beginning of the year, I don't know if guys are going to piggyback um, each other or what's going to go on. But, uh, hey, it's a sprint now. So there's – you might pitch in 30 to 35 games. I have no idea. But I think if uh, – there's enough off days in there where I think – the bullpen will be able to hopefully shut down most games and stay healthy through all the year, and I, I really like our chances. How do you feel about the three batter minimum as a lefty? I don't think it'll be that different. Like, say you get brought in in the seventh and get one out, and that inning's over. Like, if you go back out, perfect. And if you don't, then all right. But... I hate being categorized as a lefty specialist, so I don't even care about that rule. It's a lot of incentive to get that out. Yeah, oh, I get it. Uh, Jake, what kind of work did you, uh, were you able to do at home during the time off? Um, like a housekeeper. Um, a, This is going to sound bad, but, like, I felt like a babysitter because it was, like, the first time, like, all day I've been able to, like, be with my daughter, um, which I'm not. I was just being her dad, but it felt like I'm not ever used to that. Uh, that was the first time I've been home in, like, 13 years. So I did a lot of projects. Um, I got very good at mowing the whole yard, watering all the plants. That was a uh, – highlight of the day. In Nebraska now, you got to do it either at 7 to 9 in the morning or 7 at 9 at night because it's too hot. But just to spend time with everyone, it, it's going to sound weird, but it's kind of like a glimpse into retirement. It's sort of really weird. Super fun, but I would rather be playing. Do you feel like arm strength wise and just feel wise that you are where you should be with 14 days left for a season? Yeah. Uh, I think we throw again in two days. So, I mean, of course there's going to be a little bit of not rust, but just, okay. Like facing hitters again, like actual big league hitters. Um, so I'll probably be a little bit sore tomorrow, but, I don't even know what today is. Tuesday, so Thursday, I think I have to face hitters again. Uh, just like normal soreness, I feel like. And then once the season starts, no one really cares if they're sore or not. How much throwing did you do during the off time, and did you do anything uh, different than you would you would have done otherwise? I mean, did you tinker with any pitches or anything like that? Sorta. Uh, I've never really thrown a changeup ever in my life. I think I threw five last year. I think I threw five on my 20 pitches just now. I kind of want to learn that. It's probably about time. Um, 
we I tried to throw to hitters at least once a week. It's kind of hard because you don't want to do. We had no idea how long this thing was going to last. Um, so you don't want to throw too much and you don't want to throw too little. So as long as you somewhat keep your arm strength, uh, I felt like I was in the right spot to whenever we would begin. And that's what I did. You're very outspoken about everything going on right now. I think it's great, but do you feel like that's the same thing across the league or do you feel like you're kind of alone in that? Uh, no, I feel like a lot of people think that. Um, when I said that, I think in, uh, there's a little part in everyone's mind that thinks this whole thing's going to get shut down. Like, I think everyone has a little bit of fear. They might not say it, but there's a little bit of fear in everyone's head that that might happen because if they don't get this figured out, I mean, you can't have teams not practicing a day or two in a row and we have two weeks until the regular season starts. Like that's, there's just no way that should happen. If, if guys aren't thinking that way, I, I just feel like you need to be like somewhat of a realist and I don't know. Jake, I'm wondering uh, if you had a chance to talk to uh, Jesus Luzardo, and are you allowed to comment to comment on what's going on with him? I have not personally spoke with him, um, and I I do not want to comment on any of that because I have no idea. Yeah, we understand that. Yeah, thank you. But I do wish MLB would come out with an actual report of how many people have it. I just ask uh, what, uh, why you, why you would want to see that? What, what, um, because what the last time they did, it came out with 31 players, and right now it's and percentage-wise, it has to be over five percent. Like, don't you guys want? A more realistic number than the 38, like 31 players and seven coaches that they came out with. Like it's way over 100. The Dodgers just, some beat writer for them just came out and it had like nine of them on there. One team. I just wish they were, I get you can't unless the player like writes off on it. I totally get it. Most people understand that if it says like test results pending, it could mean like test results are actually pending. Like the saliva, he could have like food in the little saliva that they're testing. It like did like a weird thing and they have to test it again. But I, I just, I don't really get it. There's a lot of like, I don't know. I know they can't be like super transparent with all the numbers, but I feel like it's, it has to be hitting close to a hundred. Would it make you feel safer if there was more transparency? No, I feel like the public would put more pressure on them to actually like get a second lab. Um, that means this one lab has to do 2000 tests a day. Like that makes zero sense to me. Are they there 24 seven? Like, how is that even possible to do? I'm very, I, I hope that they get the testing figured out. Cause I like the thing that would irk me the most is all of us are doing this right now. Um, getting ready, like throwing bullpens at the end of this relievers are going to be throwing like back to backs or like up and downs. Um, and we're going to be going full go because we're going to think on the 24th, we're going to start playing. I don't want it to be on the 24th. And then they just bang the whole thing. Like you're risking, say a young prospect in some organization is called up because say a new draftee that they just drafted, because there's a couple of those that are in and he wants to show off and he hurts himself and has to get Tommy John and he's out for like 18 months. That's so unfair to that kid when they knew they were going to call it right away. 
That's how I feel. I'm going to get a lot of sh shit for this, but I don't really care. Because it's like super, like, you, we have to get testing more than three, four days out. Otherwise, the entire clubhouse will be infected on a 10-day road trip, and then we're screwed. Please be nice to me when you write all this. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask, when you say you're going to get shot, who, who do you think would be upset at you speaking out about this? Um, I don't really know. Yeah, thank you, Rick. But I'm high risk, so I'm going to have to speak out for it. Like, I, I don't want to get sick. Yeah, thank you very much for being so honest, my friend. Yeah. Like, has anybody heard? I would love an update on Freddie Freeman because his wife's Instagram post made it seem like he was not doing the best. Which I totally get if when they, like they want their privacy. But like, he has symptoms and from that post, he wasn't doing so hot and they said it was gonna take a little bit for him to even like get back, which is crazy. Thanks, Jake. Thank yep. you very much, Jake. Thanks, Jake. Appreciate Absolutely. It. Awesome. Please be nice. <laughs> well, thanks for being so honest. Thank you Thanks, for being Jake. forthright. Appreciate it. Yeah.